What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game. Welcome to Reefer Madness LA Noir. That was very quick and abrupt. No pregame story? This is a DLC quest or, or case that makes a lot of sense. And there's only like five DLC cases. You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. Mm -hmm. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. All right. That sounds pretty easy. What's the cash? Oh yeah, we're fifty bucks. Do they think I'm made of money? Yes. No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? <laughs> I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Gosh, I can't Can you drive to this one? <laughs> All right. Plus, with this being a DLC case, I keep saying quest, but yeah, there will be achievements that we will go over as well. There are five, I believe, for all DLC cases. So, let's go to Lyman's. Sounds like a fun, nice little bar. Alright, who's our guy? There's a little sneak. Well, Mason's not That's back him here, in the so. back, Cole. Boy. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia. Whoa. Be careful. He likes guns. Now, do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Yeah, it's a... Uh... This case sounds very like similar to the last one we did. That was DLC, just very cut and dry. You're behind Nothing the wheel. really extra, and that's kind of disappointing right, so far. So hopefully things will go better than the last one, but so far I don't have high faith. I mean, you believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. That's it? What the? Okay. Let's see how dumb. Oh, this house does not look like a fun town. That's a Thompson. That's a freaking Thompson. How does he have a Thompson? Call for help. I'll try and find a way in. Okay, you cannot just Navy SEAL that. I deserve that. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Now look at this Call again. I'll try and find a way in. Dang, does he take two shots? I mean, he takes the one there. I get that. Oh, that's 
not what happened. Alright, there's no way I'm going to fail this three times in a row. Because one of your troops we need for this one is... Oh. Oh. I win. Alright, something went right for once. Nope. I don't need to hear it twice, computer. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Don't be nice to them. They don't deserve it. They don't. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, you know, the rest of the story tells itself. I mean, we didn't kill anybody on purpose. That's silver dollar. Huh. Silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Alright, his other pocket. Let's see who this man is. Okay, there's Juan Garcia. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Yeah, I agree there. Alright, we're done with him. What? Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. <sighs> this is just... Optimistic, Cole. Parnell Soup Company? Freaky the Soup Company. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. I'm assuming there's gonna be a catch here. And Mr. Soup. Hey, these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Hmm. Like, something's just not... Oh yeah, there was a movie in the 30s, I believe, called Reaper for Madness. It is hilariously bad. I would definitely check it out. I had to watch it in my schools back in the day. This doesn't pertain to the case. Does it not? Not everything here is going to be relevant. Wait. But... Nope. 
Not there. What about these? God bless it. That one got me. Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> that got me. What's the other one? Now we're getting somewhere. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? A lot of people. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. This guy, EJ, seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. 50 pounds, jeez. Dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. All right. Is that a can opener? You hungry or something, Phelps? Ah. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. <laughs> Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Now, if you're really smart, do two of them. Because you get them two for turn two. There it is. Soup in the pot. All right. So, it looks like we are all set up here. Now, you have to do things a certain order, or you're gonna get a bad time. The goal, like I said, is always get five stars. So, get five stars on this one. You drive. I need to we go to the case We have to notes. go to the soup factory Do we first. know where we're going? Wait. Hold on. Alright, this is very interesting. Can I save? Alright. So, there's actually a cheap you know the way. for everybody. You can drive. We're gonna Carter says the morphine is still... We're going to go to 20th Century Burger first. I know I just said for five stars to do this. I'm showing this off now that the other achievement is here. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Yep, there's... LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Uh. I feel like we're gonna do this regardless, so we will be playing this out. Well, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'll be right back. All right. If you quit and reload the second you get the achievement, you get back here, which is very handy. All right. We only had four clues, so we're actually ready to move on. I believe it's all the clues we need. I hope so. So for real this Can time... Can you go out to this one? We're gonna go... to... the can company. Uh-oh. I gotta make sure I hit the right button. Okay. That was all 
almost a bad time. I mean, it's a freaking can company. How bad can right. it be? Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this. <laughs> I like that. All the herbs and spices. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. <gasps> I mean... You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's closing <laughs> eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Good answer. Don't... Oh. Follow me, gentlemen. You don't sound happy to see me. What is going on? We're a family company using family recipes. We don't know anything about dope rings. I need you to stop this from ruining the company's reputation. LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Huh. Doris. Can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Why is she, like, strutting so hard? Oh, okay. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Well, there's Mr. Cruz. Oh. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas, a Jorge Garcia Cruz. Is there an EJ anywhere? I no, guess not. Doesn't matter. So tell us the soup. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mm, I'm gonna say no. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contract. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. That's pretty impressive, but your factory sealed cans. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. That's true, but you do know something. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. Oh. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. Whoa. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Yes. Hence a lot of the reason why in today's economy relevant facts are relevant. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar your, with them all. Your employee listing says otherwise. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. <laughs> Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. You know what? I'm finally saying you're right. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. 
He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. Hmm. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. I mean, that's a very good point. But then again, if people would eat, see half the stuff they do, they probably wouldn't eat most things. Ah! Or most how things are made. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Okay. Fascinating. Do it. I mean, why don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip uh, flashback. I mean, I don't know if it's journey super. Remember the dead lady they found out? To be honest with you, I really don't know soups that well. Looks like it gets boiled. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? Oh, yeah. The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. All right. I have fallen you the whole time. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. Okay. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Oh, come on. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Oh. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Oh. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I you can it. move it. <laughs> it. Brings me luck. Well, luck be a lady tonight. Let's talk. How about the cans? Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. I believe you because you don't care too much for soup, but your urban spice is trade. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. Gets delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. Ah, you are part of it. What market? What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. The problem is... No. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm going to break you for it. You're loco, Placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. You're, I mean, you, we can do it either way. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? Juan and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on there. You keep your mouth shut for today, and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Yeah. Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. 
If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, Fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. You gotta remember, during this time... I mean, technically, they were relatively right-wing. I am a lot glad of to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. You weren't right-wing, you were a commie. All right, so let's go to the market finally and do the things correctly. You can drive. Looks Where like are we going? We're gonna come back eventually. 